Now on YouTube, I am the Top Mum. Now then YouTube, I am the Top Man and welcome back to Solitary Craft. We're now in episode 14 and we are kicking on quite a lot guys. Um, we got a lot lot done in the last couple of episodes. Um, in episode 12 we made the assembly table and the iron and gates and that was like a 50 minute episode, that was ridiculous. Uh, and then in the last episode of course we went on to do some apiaries and such. That was a good half an hour's worth of video right there for you guys. So, in this video, um, now that I've got a whole load of stuff going on down there and look at the amount of fuel I'm getting now, the surplus on the fuel is just amazing so what I'm going to do is go and get some of the glass that I've got going in here and, uh, and make some more tanks really, we need more tanks and I need just one more bit of glass to make a nice round number of four tanks I believe yeah four tanks, brilliant get these done cool Four tanks there. We, I'm also going to make another chest for here. Um, at some stage I'm probably going to want to make a chest room. Um, but I'm toying with the idea of maybe making like platforms on the, end, uh, on the edge of this tree here. And then blending it into the tree, making it look like part of the tree. I'm not entirely sure on how I'm going to do that. Um, but I'm certainly going to be having a look into the possibility of doing such. So. Right, let's uh, get my chainsaw out just in case there's any nasties around. Which there isn't, but I've no I've forgotten. And that is, of course, stone waterproof pipes. I need the waterproof pipes to uh to actually fill my tanks up, otherwise there'd be no point. There we are. I only need a couple. Good stuff. Now, you probably, you guys may or may not have already seen it by now, but I am gonna actually spotlight um everybody packs that's part of the air stocky team at the moment um, all that there is out at the minute ouch taking fall damage there but great we've got another another stack of, of fuel this is working great by the way but yeah at the moment there is the hero craft pack there is the air stocky pack and there is uh, my pack which is available the almighty pack is not available just yet we're waiting on red power for that one, but that one does look very interesting indeed. That has the likes of Millionaire in it, um, the uh, the likes of his own mod. He has created his own mod as Ryan, and um, it's looking it's looking very good. And I, I know what Ryan's like. He's probably going to be looking into uh, you know extending his mod in different ways. Uh, I know that he wants to give his tools. Um, a different special ability which I, I'm definitely looking forward to. The the sword at the minute auto cooks the food of the thing that you actually uh, you know kill. So for example these steaks here I wouldn't have to kill them I'd just use one of his swords and uh, uh, and kill a, a pig uh, or in this case a steak, uh, kill a cow and it will auto cook the steak itself you know up, upon death so that's brilliant. It's also got a secondary thing where you actually you, you can shift and right click as if you were to block and it actually gives you um, random experience between 0 and 5 I think it actually gives you. So it does take durability away from the sword but it is a very nice mod indeed. Right so what guys, guys what am I doing up here? I came back up here for some reason. I've done that so that's my tank done. That's my first thing on my list of stuff to do. Yes I've kept, my, I've kept the list going add tanks to fuel supply that is done of course I'm gonna add that chest in here as well just for all these items because I don't want the pipes in the same you know chest as, as the redstone and sulfur and diamonds and, and such like that so um, we've got plenty of copper here in fact just enough right there to actually start off and then let's make ourselves a copper chest. I'm also going to need to upgrade this chest here because I've got one space left but uh, I can tell you guys that I've always got stuff going on in there so 
There's my rubber that I collected from last time. You see, and I've got these in here as well. Rubber and, you, you know, the ra uranium stays in there. But these void transport pipes and, and overclockers and such like that don't belong in there. They belong right in here. So let's go and grab all these now. From steel. I can really go in the miscellaneous stuff, to be honest. Now look how much neater that, that looks and how much more uh, better it is. So let's stick these in here. And there we have it. A brand new chest there, guys, for all the miscellaneous items for industrial craft or the mod items, really. Um, if we have a look through here, I don't know. We've got some levers in there, so yeah, maybe I'll take them out of there and put them in here instead. Um, copper cables, we don't need them in the miscellaneous thing, that's for sure. Uh, a generator, we certainly don't need that in there. The diamond meter, maybe not. So let's get these in there. For those of you who don't know, episode 9 is missing. For some reason, I d I've just gone and deleted it. I, I think what happened was, I, I thought I'd that I rendered the episode, but uh, I didn't actually render it, so I thought I'd rendered it and then deleted the footage, and then I realised that I haven't actually got episode 9 anymore. So that's when I actually created the diamond meter. At some stage, I will go back through how to use the diamond meter and how to understand everything. So. Uh, the wrench can come out of there as it can the tree tap. The electric wrench and electric tree tap can go in there as well. All the rest of the stuff I really do need to try and keep on myself. That's looking really good, guys. That's looking very good indeed. Now, this episode, I am going to be working on getting some more industrial craft power. I really need some more power. Not only that, but I need a room um, to actually deal with all this power. So what I am going to do is take some of this oak wood, in fact I'm going to take all of this oak wood, and what I am going to do is do what I said I was going to do. And uh, I'm just going to take a look at this tree here, and I believe that if I go out from here, And I think I might be able to get away with this. Now, I, I'm going to... Um, what I'm doing right now is actually adding another room onto my place. I can't wait for the next update when it actually you know, puts it the right way around. It's annoying, is that? So I'm just starting here by extending my area out. Now, I don't want it to look, you know, very s strange. I do need a lot more wood, though, so I'm going to have to go uh, wood shopping. Yes, that's right, shopping, not chopping, shopping. Um, and I'll probably do the most of that off camera with my chainsaw and my backpack, which actually needs charging. So why don't I just hop up onto here? So I can get this charging up. You can see there, it's charging up. It's a great little addition, I've got to say, guys. Just taking a little quick drink. There we are. It's a great little addition, these charge pads. Uh, thank you very much for Nico, uh, not Nico, Pyro, who suggested that mod to me. It's a very useful addition, definitely. And it definitely will be, you know, as we go in forwards, um, as we get the better charge pads. That's something I will definitely be working on in the future as well. But I need to make sure that I've got more power first. Um, so, first things first, getting this room sorted. This room is going to house all of my industrial craft stuff and what I mean by that is all the macerators and stuff down there. It's going to house all that kind of stuff. So, Are we done? We are very nearly done. And what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to do this off camera because it's going to be incredibly boring for you guys, with just me going around chopping trees down. So I will be back in just a second. Okay, guys, so I'm armed now with a, uh, a stack and a little bit of wood and also a ton of leaves. Um, I went and got a ton of leaves because I want to make this look at least a little bit uh, natural uh, more than anything else. So I've gone ahead and I've got myself some more leaves. And the, the, how I'm going to do this is basically just uh, come around here like this and uh, go around like this. I'm also going to look at it from the bottom as well, don't you worry about that. 
Um, just trying to think about where I want my actual thing. Because I want it to, you know, look like it's part of the tree. So I think I'm going to actually extend out this way some more. I think that should be enough for the moment. I'm not really bothered about where the logs, you know, are, are facing. I mean, it would be nice if, of course, they would face the right way, but still, things happen. Whoops. I've got to be careful. I can't actually hit that with my chainsaw, otherwise, uh, shit might hit the fun there. So this looks like a big enough room here. This looks like like an absolute ton of room, which is great. Now I've got to see this from the uh, the sides and underneath as well, so I, I can at least try to make things look uh, natural, like it's meant to be part of this tree. Filling in a few gaps over here. Now this looks very good indeed. Now you see the reason why I want to get rid of these chests. They are right in the way. And then I'm going to come up here. I'm going to have all my, mach my machines lined up here. And then I'm going to have my solar flower of course. Um, I'm probably, because obviously I need to move all this stuff down here. I'm going to remove all that and move it around and all sorts of stuff, so... Let's get rid of that there. Just to give it a bit of uh, a kept look about it. Very nice. It's probably going to look very weird from underneath. That's definitely, and I probably won't be able to do much about it. Whoa, this looks, uh, wow. This does not look like it could be part of the tree at all. Um, now, how could I fix the look of this? Um, there's not much in the way that I can. I mean, the only other way that I could do it, really, is to grab myself some more cobblestone. Um, and possibly do support struts from underneath it, just to make it look a little bit, uh, a little bit better. I'm just going to get a couple of stacks there. Right, I've got to think about where. I'd want one right here as well. That's uh, that's not going to be happening, is it? This is here. Let's get into the right spot. There we are, but what I'm what I'm gonna do hmm, is I think what I'm actually gonna do bear with me while I do this. Oh you son of a bitch. I knew I'd done it too high anyway. That looks okay, but it's just missing that second layer. You know, them they, they are still very much holding on there. They're not attached to anything, if you know what I mean. If you get my drift. That looks a lot better. Maybe it would look a lot better... Ow! I've got to put a fence up there as well at some stage. Let's get rid of that one. Yeah. 
It looked better with it on, to be honest. Right, um... What about that? Nah. Sorry about this, guys. Just uh, gauging everything here. I think I know exactly what it's missing, guys. I think I know exactly what it's missing here. And I'm going to go and grab some stuff right now. So that I can sort this out. It's missing stone steps. That's what it is. There we are. I think that should really do for now. I could really use some kind of uh, flying mechanism for whilst I'm doing this. But I think what it's missing is this. Sometimes it does that. Oh, you son of a bitch. Ow. Keep doing this. It's slightly annoying, I've got to say. But uh, all this just for some bloody aesthetics, really. That looks a lot better. However, there is one more thing I really need to do. Now I've done that. Let's get rid of them. Oh, son of a... And replace them. with them. And let's take a look at that for the final product. I'm going to have to do the, exactly the same on the other side, but I think I'll do that really quickly off, off camera. That still looks a bit thick for me. That strut looks a bit too thick. It doesn't look, I mean it doesn't look too bad, it looks okay, but uh, it just looks a little bit too thick. I'm going to do exactly the same on the other, I know what I'm going to do. But I'm going to do it off camera, guys. I think you guys have seen me piss around with this uh, more than enough. So I will see you on the other end. Well, now, how is that looking to you? That looks like a great strut to me. Basically, what I did was took out the uh, the solid blocks in the middle and just placed under, you know, under, like underneath stairs, upside down stairs. That's the word, upside down stairs, and then on top of them. I place normal stairs. So that looks really... I love that. I, lo I love the look of that. Maybe possibly I could do something in wood rather than stone. However, I think it go gives a good illusion there. I'm going to have to do exactly the same on this side. And I'm going to do exactly the same on this corner here. Um, possibly not as much that way because, of course, the tree is actually there. But this just looks... It, it finishes it off quite nicely. So I'll see you guys once I've finished. There you go guys, how does that look to you? I think that looks really, really nice indeed. So, without further ado, let's go back upstairs. And you'll notice another addition that I've done. I've gone around the floor and actually placed most of the, uh, the, the grass blocks that were here with wooden blocks. So that now they all look nice and, well, wooden. Um, but the biggest addition you'll notice is that I've actually extended this area as well. I've gone out the whole of this area, uh, done exactly the same with the the grass blo the grass box, the uh, leaf blocks here. Um, I've basically got a lot, a lot of stuff here. Um, I don't know. I should be able to take this out and then remove this. Maybe the chainsaw's better. Yeah. Basically, what I want to do is actually create this um, this bit over here. Sorry, there we are. I want this bit over here to be my mist craft area, and that bit over there to be my industrial craft area. So let's just do the process of moving everything around. I want to have that nether book, please, and the link book stand. My first age, which incidentally I've, I haven't used, I'm probably never going to use since either. Bloop. Thank you. Because of course the first age I'm never going to use again, I might as well just stick it in there and then eventually, you know, when I get another... In fact, I've got one. 
I've got a, a steam engine, but I don't want to use the steam engine for what I'm doing, so. The link book to the nether wants to go onto there. And then, of course, I'm going to have um, any bits and bobs. I'm probably going to want to get one of these intralinking books um, so that I can link to certain areas around the world. But for that, I think I'm actually going to need. A special part of Mistcraft, and I've forgotten what it's called. It's a very, very, very expensive recipe. It's unbelievably expensive, in fact, but it's definitely very. This one, Link Modifier, there, and you'll notice that the actual, the recipe for it is yes, eight diamond blocks, and one block of gold. So that's where my diamond meter is going to come in very useful. Yes, that is actually a missing chunk there which is uh, a bit of a pain in the backside. I don't know why that's there but still right so now the next thing I need to do is to get my wrench my electric wrench ah uh, god damn it just one second guys while I go into my controls here Where does it say uh, for my mini map? In fact, it's probably in the menu for this thing. Um, key config, here we are. The menu key. Whoops, that stopped my recording. But never mind. Let's uh, put that. B let's put that back because I'd use the decimal there as my recording key for Minecraft. Um, what can I do with you as then? I'll do use that one. The subtract button. Key config has been changed. Now, can I actually change the mode of this? Doesn't look like it. Whoops. Nope. I don't know what's going on there, but still. Right, there is my low voltage solar array. Let's go and take all this up. My charge pad. Take all of this up now because I'm going to want to use this. Have I got any more wood on me? I do have two pieces of wood. So let me get rid of this. Just like that. Um, let's put them in there got a couple of link book stands here. I'm probably gonna, just going to shove these down over here. Right, next thing, this. Thank you. My bat box, and I hate to do this with all the energy that's inside it, but still. Thank you. And then there is the painstaking thing of taking all this apart. Oops. It's not going to be too difficult. Not with the pipes anyway. Now be careful when you do that because um, do you know the, the engine there? If you actually turn a redstone engine on and don't put it anything to do, at the minute that's you know that's working on that wooden pipe there. Yes, it's not doing anything to the wooden pipe, but uh, if you take that wooden pipe away, and let me have my thing there, you'll notice it turns red and eventually it will blow up, so just be careful with that. Alright, let's take these out. Ooh. A good two stacks of iron there. Very nice indeed. I shall put that away as soon as I possibly can so I don't lose any of it. And of course, all these transport pipes and such and redstone engines. And I'll leave the chests in there for the minute. We've got the gold and the pipes there. Uh, let's put them in there as well for the second while we deal with this. Oops. Oh, there's my rubber. Nothing in there. Good. Do 
Two. Good. I thought I'd lost one for a second there. Looks like we've got all of our machines back without losing any. Good stuff. Let's get rid of the copper cable. And then eventually I'll come around here and I'll actually, you know, um, fix everything up with the flooring and so on and so forth. But for the minute, I'm probably wanting to do one thing in particular. And of course, I haven't got all the stuff on me because I put it in the chest. Now, somebody said to me, actually, you don't need the LV transformer there when you're using the low voltage solar array. Uh, so I'm not going to do that. And did, I think Airstocky told me about using copper cable instead of the gold cable because of the EUs per tick, but I'm sure that I had problems with the copper cable and the low voltage solar array. Could be wrong. But if I actually, if I put that back box there... No, apparently not. So, fair enough. Um, copper cable it is. Why can I not do this? It's not letting me place this damn thing. Here we are. And then the low voltage solar array. God almighty. Nah, you'll do. You will do, I am sure. Um. The bat box itself is going to be placed right there. I'm then going to get it to move and switch over to the back over here. I need more copper cables if we've got any. No, we don't, so I'm going to have to create some. Plenty of rubber. I took loads of rubber on me as well, but uh, I'll use what's there. go. Okay, so I've got to think about this because I've got the macerator, uh, the extractor and the electronic furnace so far. setting up with power quite nicely. I'm going to have to go to sleep very soon. But I want to think about um, maybe getting some kind of basic logistics pipe system going on with this setup. Um, I'm going to go to sleep guys, I'll see you in the morning. Okay, so I'm back, it is morning, and I'm just considering to myself what exactly to do here. I want some form of input chest where I put something somewhere, it's then going to whiz things everywhere. Um, now, in reality, what I would do is probably put the input chest somewhere in my main room of my base. So when I put stuff in there, it then whizzes off to uh, a storage area, um, and then to get macerated and so on and so forth. So I think that that the, the input chest I'm not going to do just at this minute. What I'm in fact going to do is make sure that I've got everything down. Uh, the macerator there. Electronic furnace there. The extractor just there. And of course I've got the compressor and what's the other one? I've forgotten what the bloody other one is. Sure, there's five machines, this is not just four. It'll be here somewhere. Compressor, macerator. What was the other one? There was another machine that I always had. 
and for some reason it is uh, escaping me. Never mind, I'll just use what I've got now. Of course, I'm going to have these coppers back on top of the macerator and the electronic furnace. There we are. Very nice indeed. Very nice. They're filling up with power as well, which is a bonus. I don't really need one on the extractor. So. i to think about uh, logistics pipes now. Basic logistics pipes are very expensive. They require two gold gears, diamond transport pipes, and two redstone torches as well, some glass. Um, is now maybe the right time to start on that? No, because I haven't got enough gold ingots anyway. Well, I do have enough gold ingots, but to, to, to really start myself off. I mean, I could start it off. Hmm. I could start it off, I suppose. I need that compressor. To be honest, um, I think I need more power before I start anything like this. But what I'm going to do for the moment is leave everything as it is. I think I've done what I wanted to do over here at the moment. Until I get. Once I've got a little bit more power and uh, upgraded these machines to the advanced machines equivalent. Um, then I'll be okay. I think. And I think that's what I'm going to need the gold cable for when I put the advanced machines down. I think. In fact, I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. Well, guys, again, I've gone just over the time limit of uh, of a half an hour episode. We've we've started on what I wanted to do for episode 14. Um, I've roughly got through. I, I mean, I, I got sidetracked with you know doing this entire area really, uh, doing this entire area on, on my tree. So I've got sidetracked with that, and that, you know all that kind of good stuff. But um, I do have a room now, or at least a place, a proper place for my industrial craft machines. Now. There's been some people saying, why don't I use wrath lamps instead of floodlights? Um, purely because I haven't got to them just yet. The wrath lamps, I think I'm actually going to need one of them as well. And I'd, I'm not quite sure how to uh, create diamond shards. I'm going to have to have a look into that. But the wrath lamp itself is a really, really good um, lamp to have. It, I mean, it lights up a fair area. It really does, and I'm, I'm going to look to want something maybe um, set up in the middle of here, or maybe one over here, and one over here, wrath lamps wise, so that it's, I've got constant, like, it's like daylight, honestly it is. Um, but we'll get to that in a future episode, I am very much sure that we will get to them at some stage in the future. But uh, anyway guys, that's the end of uh, episode 14, until next time guys, I've been the tough man as always, stay safe.